Hey guys, in this video, uh, it's Friday, July 21st, the market is closed. I wanted to give you my opinion on whether you should join a Discord room, uh, TeamSpeak, Skype, whatever, probably Discord, but whatever you know, application you would use, Zoom, um, whether you should join a trading group or not. And this is just my opinion, I'm not trying to disparage anyone. Guys, I would say no. Um, you need to learn to trade on your own without distractions. And in my opinion, if you're going in a Discord room, I did this at one point, guys. If you are going on a Discord room while you are trading um, and other people are talking while you're trading, that's very distracting. And, and not only are they talking, but they're talking about the market. And how are you ever going to formulate your own ideas about the market and become successful on your own if you're listening to other people tell you what what bullcrap they think that the market's going to do. Guys, this is not a team sport. This is chess. You really should think of the trading as chess. Um, I'm not saying never talk about the market, but just not while you're trading. Okay, so no, I would not join a signals group. Uh, first off, guys, there's always going to be a lag time from whenever your signal provider gets out the signal uh, to when you actually execute the order. Right. There's never, un unless the signal provider is actually like talking to your face, there is a lag between what the market is doing. And guys, the NASDAQ moves very quickly. If you are on a telegram, for example, and you're in a signals group, and you're trying to read a signal like buy or sell at this price, by the time he's already sent it, he's sent the signal, right? And he's, he's sent off, whoever your signal provider is, he sent off a signal. By the time that you read the signal, it could already be gone. The, the move is done. So what's the point? Not only are you distracting yourself, uh, you're probably listening to a complete con artist, number two. But, but number three, even let's say it's a good signal. Let's say that your signal provider is like a good signal provider, right? Well, you're not learning yourself, number one. But number two, by the time the signal is already out, the market might have already made that move. Uh, maybe not, but, but oftentimes, like the NASDAQ moves very quickly, guys. So, no, I would not be in a Discord room while you are trading. I would not be in a trading group. Uh, absolutely not. I would certainly not join a signals group. Um, I don't, I mean, guys, no, absolutely not. Uh, I would, the, the most that I would do if I were you is maybe go, go read like a, a morning report, you know, before the market is open, before you're trading. But while you're trading, guys, you need to be in the zone. You need to be focused. You need to be well hydrated. Uh, so my opinion on being in a Discord room, being in a TeamSpeak, or being in a Skype or a Zoom call while you are trading, no. I, I would not do that, guys. I'm just going to be perfectly honest with you. I would not join a signals group, and I would not be talking to other people while the market is live. I would absolutely not be conversing about the market while the market is moving, especially not during the regular trading hours, guys. That's madness. Madness. This is not a team sport. Uh, this is an individual sport. This is chess. This is a competitive uh, game of chess. So can you talk about the market when it's closed? Yes. Can you talk about the market when it's not moving? Yes. Should you be talking about the market with somebody else who probably doesn't even know what they're talking about while the market is moving? No, absolutely not. So I would leave your Discord rooms. I would stop uh, distracting yourself from your trading. It's not benefiting you. Um, it's harming you. So... I would, I would leave those Discord room guys and I would leave them uh, or I would definitely not look at them while you are while the market is live and while you are day trading. All right, guys, this has been my opinion on signals groups and, and being in voice chats, voice calls, whatever you're doing while the market is live. I would stay far away from doing that. Bye-bye.